If you are able to perform a treatment with surgery, you spare all the options. If the, if, if the patient is growing older and develop another cancer. If you still treat him or her with radiotherapy, you burn the bridge. You cannot come back and perform radiotherapy again. And if you have to perform surgery, it will be more complicated regarding the healing time and uh, the safety of the surgery and so on. So um, definitely, uh, uh, I'm in favor of surgery as the primary line of, uh, of treatment, if possible. So how do lasers and radiation interplay in terms of the choice and using afterwards? So once you use radiation, you can't use radiation again in the same area. And so uh, while it is a great benefit to many patients in terms of being an excellent uh, therapeutic option, if you use it and it doesn't work, or if you have a second tumor, your options then become limited. When you have surgery, you can always operate again as long as the cancer is resectable. So we use it as a primary therapy, but also in salvage. There's good data today to support that we can use transoral laser surgery for surgical salvage in failed non-surgical therapy, chemotherapy, radiation therapy. So surgery works on both sides. Now, that being said, we also use radiation as an adjuvant for advanced stage tumors to help us because of the higher risk of the patients with higher stage tumors also in the management of the neck. There is one area in the literature that makes a surgery a vastly superior choice. And if you look critically at the, the literature, and again, much of it's retrospective, patients who are treated with radiation therapy upfront, when you fail radiation therapy, unfortunately, we know you are going to need a total laryngectomy two out of three times. Um, there's a paper from England uh, Viani, V-I-A-N-I, et al., in 1991 that looked at over 400 patients. They were T1 and T2 cancers, staged and treated, I think, at the University of Liverpool. And even for early stage disease, T1 and T2 laryngeal cancers, if a failure developed, then I think 69 or 70 percent of those patients could not have a conservation salvage procedure. They could not have a vertical partial laryngectomy, a supraglottic laryngectomy, or any kind of endoscopic surgery. The extent of the recurrence was such that they had to have a total laryngectomy. We reviewed a, a slightly smaller um, cohort of patients, over 100, at the University of Texas MD Anderson and published that recently in Head and Neck in 2006. We found the exact same ratio of about two-thirds of the patients um, that even with great radiation therapy, when you fail, the tumor is hidden, post-treatment changes make assessment of recurrence difficult. And so I think if you were to look at the whole population, you have more options if you have upfront laser surgery than if you were to have radiation therapy first. One, you can't be re-irradiated, but oftentimes you can be re-operated. That's especially true if patients come back um, for close follow-up. And so there, I think that laser surgery offers clear and unequivocal advantages. Any tumor for which a curative procedure with preservation of function seems feasible is treated primarily with trans or laser microsurgical technique under the operating microscope. If neck surgery is indicated, a selective neck dissection of the levels 2 and 3 in laryngeal cancer is routinely performed for N0 to N2 necks, primarily as a delayed procedure. Adjuvant radiotherapy is primarily indicated for advanced neck disease. It means rupture of the capsule, multiple metastasis, very large metastasis. It can start early as two weeks after surgery. This is a big advantage that the radiotherapy after surgery can start early. After classic surgery, you have to wait a long time before you can start with radiotherapy. The TLM approach is our treatment of choice for any tumor that seems suitable for organ and function preserving surgery. The chance of having to perform a total laryngectomy is 13 times more important in case of 
failure after radiotherapy or in case of failure, in comparison with failure after surgery. Because after surgery, you can still come back and resect more, which is not the case after radiotherapy. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we speak about survival, I would say definitely there's no real differences. But if we speak <coughs> about function, you will uh, save the function in a much better way if you use the endoscopic surgery. And then, for that, if you want to use the endoscopic surgery, the CO2 laser is the best tool. Mm -hmm. So, firstly, you have to discuss what kind of surgery you want to do, and then you have to decide what is the best tool for performing this surgery. And uh, from that, the digital accumulate and the CO2 laser technology is the, is the best uh, so far.